is um, BCT8 here, and in this video, I'm going to make a video on my top 10 best video tweaks for iOS 8, 1.2 using the Taiji or Pingu jailbreak. Alright, so the first one up on the list, which is number 10, is a really sweet tweak, but I don't really use it as much, it's called Activator. Uh, people know about this, and people know about it, the reason why is because it's been going on for a very long time for the jailbreakers. Um... You know, there, there, there's so much you can do with Activator. I mean, it's just unbelievable. So if, if you don't know what Activator is, I'll tell you guys right now what it is. So what Activator um, is, is a tweakable, um, really sweet um, tweak, as I just said and mentioned lots of times. Uh, what it um, lets you do is literally, no kidding, lets you do certain um, gestures or actions to, to, to perform an action of some sort. Alright, so that's actually want to check that out. Uh, it is for free um, on the R Petish or whatever repo. Alright, coming at number 9 is a really sweet tweak and it's called V Color. Um, I named it um, that color because it's just, it's kind of fun but also same time kind of not. I mean, like sometimes you can get a little annoying between, between your gaming or whatever, but that's just that. Alright, so here in V Color, there's um, four settings to operate. So one is the background color, and then there's one which is the the second one is the um the plexion bar, which is like the bar where like um the dots go. That's that, and then the volume number. You can I don't know what the volume number is because I never really tested out the volume number, but there's no such thing with the volume number really tested out yet. And the volume meter is I put it as green, and I just recently just installed this tweak, so when I go the um, volume up, you know, as you do see here, uh. Oh, so that's what the volume number is, right there. Is that 13 is? Yeah, so it's really sweet. If you guys cannot see, I'll bring this a little closer. So there you go. If the volume number shows up, and it's a really sweet part of the tweak. Um, many people have liked um, that part of the tweak. Alright, so we'll put it back to zero. So that's exactly what that um, is. And it kind of just stays there for a few seconds. That never really happened on the real iOS volume. Um, HUD, but when you go in the up, it pops up right in the center, and then it just stays up for like about five or three seconds. Then it goes away. How's the vehicle? Check that out. It's number nine on the list. All right, coming up, my number eight is really sweet tweak. I use it a lot, but it's sometimes not really helpful. And it's called CC settings, and it's number eight on the list, as I just said. It is a really sweet tweak, and you can, and actually, if I show you control center right now, as you do see here, there's only four toggles, and. The reason why there's only four toggles is because I'm using C settings to customize that. As you do some C settings, there's a few things. Um, you can you can do toggles per line, so go and click on that. It says this. Uh four, five, or six. So if I say five, it just goes back to the iOS default. Uh at five. And also if you go look at my page scrolling, it's like InfiniDoc, but for control center toggles. Literally. It's that it's the same thing as that, but just a little different form. All right, coming and then yeah, just um when, and also coming back into see settings again. When you go and turn on um this mouse control center, so it does. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do auto lock for two minutes. And did you just see that it went away immediately? And I really hate that because it kind of gets a little annoying. Like if you really want to get that thing back, it just goes away. So I'm going to toggle that off just for um this part of the video and as it's here kill music if you if you know what that means i'll tell you guys about that later but well actually right now so if if, if you're playing a music i'm not going to actually play the mute song right now but if you play a song what it will uh do is the minute you like let's say turn off wi-fi it merely kills the music and pauses it or stops it or as you do see here it says just music that's exactly what it'll say when you kill music all right, coming up the whitelist. So this is just say the excluded apps. Now it doesn't work with every app, but it does obviously work with Cydia, and it obviously does work with um, timer and camera. So those are two toggles it um, works with. So if I go ahead and uh, I'm gonna do it now, so it'll take up more time about the respring. Well, like order to do certain things, like as I just showed for the toggles per line, you don't have to change that, and neither with the including bar, but. Um, Sorry about that, guys, over here, if you guys can see that. Uh, like, around. 
But, um, you know, there's so much you can do. So if I go ahead and, um, find... Um, where's the clock? Oh, well, the clock is not really found. But whatever. So, um, if you can find a clock, which I'm going to search for in just a second. Well, seems like I cannot find it. But whatever. So, the minute clock is toggled on, which will be mainly for iPhones, which will be this. Uh, what it will literally do is it will hide these two. So, if I turn off camera. So, if I go ahead and I'm going to put on whitelist. Uh, and then go ahead and find camera. Toggle that on. It seems it's still there, but um, sometimes you have to respring order for them to take effect. And that will take up, as I just said many times, it will take up a lot of time. Then when you come back to the control center, it will be gone. Like this part over here will be gone. And that's just the only problem about whitelist. Alright, so when you include, which means, and this does go by um, the way it shows. So Wi-Fi is on the first page, then cell, then airplane, then home. So, did you do see Wi-Fi, cell, airplane, home. And then um, lock, auto lock, orientation lock. And then there's um, the ringer, which was mainly for iPhones. And same with, um, same with the vibrate, and I really like that. Uh, vibrate is now a new thing that they've set in there. So nothing wrong too much time on um, seed settings. Let's go to the next one, which is status modifier. All right, now I really love this tweak. It's a really fun tweak to mess around with and plan to like, look at. You do have to respring. So when I go and click on save up here, it says, would you like to respring? I'm saying no, because I don't want to respring and waste of time. But that's what it technically means. So right now, uh, for the time settings, it says um, the date, then the month, and the hour, and then the minute. So as you do see up here, it's really sweet. So it says 23, I don't know if you guys can see well, but it says 23 slash 01. Um, and then there's like a little small space between as you do see. And then there's 20, and then uh, it's like a little ratio kind of thing. Obviously, if you guys don't have time, then obviously it shows that. But it says right now, it's right now 828. So that's exactly what it says. And it's mainly in, um, it's mostly going to be in military time. So like, as you do see here. Um, so that's that, and then, but you have to respring as I just, um, showed earlier when I clicked on save up there. Uh, so see, it says, or so now it's 829, and then here, or it says here, it does not include RAM, um, info. It's got nothing to do with that. This 10.0.16, that's actually my, um, I don't know how to say this, but it's actually my, uh, IP address for my Wi-Fi. And then next to it, which was something in the MB, that's my RAM info. So right now I have 6 MB. Then a little bit, well, I put it for um, 1 second, as you do see here. So for some reason, it's probably, yeah, there you go, as you do see. Every second it's changing its numbers, which means that's what it means. All right, so that's a really sweet tweak I want you guys to check out. And our next one is spin. So as I said about my music earlier, I decided to show my music, which is really weird right now, but whatever. Let's go and I'm going to delay, guys. I was just going to open up music here. And this does work on any um, application. Uh, it It's really fun. So, so guys, it's probably my spring to my eyes. I had that on mindset. Let's go over to songs. And let's go ahead and play something random. Like, uh, take it out, for example. Alright. So, I'm going to go and close this. And I'm going to go to my lock screen here. I'm going to tap on my lock screen here. And here you go. You have a beautiful overlay of your music. Um... It's really fun. I mean, you can um, easily scroll through. For some applications, it may not work for the scrolling, but yeah. You can always customize the um, font, you know, the controls. You know, it's 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 very useful. All right, so you can always check out Spin. It's a really useful tweak um, for many, many, many music lovers. If you guys are that type of tweaker for music, Spin is for you. You can always miss them as in settings. So, obviously, put enabled for that. Um, um, background art artwork which is also known as the color as you do see the back was like a little dimmed of the color of the of the artwork so that's what um, background artwork stands for and then here it says a large controls so that means it should be a little bit bigger so you guys can more operate easier I'm going to click on spinner you have some customizations here y axis y axis or x axis or whatever it says and then coming the next one is clock and then 24 hour clock you can always turn that off if you want to but I'm going to keep that on just because it's better when you come into certain things. So that's been if you want to check that spin out. It's a really useful tweak. And then there's buttons. Uh, and then there's labels. And there's extras on there.
you know, and then there's so much you can customize with. And I put my font as 18 because I have some trouble seeing my, obviously, as you just see in the beginning of my video, I have my glasses on. But, you know, that that's spin if you really want to check that out. It's a really useful tweak. All right, coming at number five. And this is a lovely tweak I love. And it's called Cypher Usage. And the reason why I named it number five, I mean, it's it's okay, but it's also 100% not good. So, go to my multitasking here. So, you guys about that. And swipe down just a little bit. As you do see, I have a colorless font, but I don't think you guys can see properly, but it says, um, sorry, as well. uh, it says, last opened a minute ago, used for one minute, total duration, two hours and 21 minutes. This is the whole time I was using my settings, literally. So that's, um, side for use, if you want to check that out, it's a useful tweak. It just tells you how much time you've been using this and get the remove data at the minute I swipe down. Okay, so that's side for use, if you want to kill, um, if you want to check that out. Coming up next, the slide to kill 8 pro. So this is a really useful tweak, and this is coming at number four. The reason why I named it number four is because it's really fun. I mean, it's really useful. So I'm gonna swipe down. Let's see on music. It really closes all my applications, and then I swipe down my home car, which I've set up. It just kills all the applications, and then double tap again. There's a little quick menu down here. If I go and click on this, this shows up my notification center. There you go. And then down here, my control center. Jazzy brings up my control center. I'm going to click on, if you tap again on the home card, it won't quit anything. It will just exit the quick menu. Or, what you can do is if I go and click on back on the quick menu, you can tap away or you can swipe down and then it will go away. It's really that simple. Then I swipe up on home card, which I've um, enabled, is to kill all. So we're going into settings here. Just go and scroll all the way down and find select to kill it from. And here we go. So it says, uh, so back there it is. And then, um, switch your slide down action, kill all. Switch your long press action, show quick menu. Icon tap icon, do nothing. Icon long press action, kill single. Um, icon area swipe action, do nothing. And then, you know, there's so much you can customize with. I don't know exactly where it says to um, respring, which I really don't know why that's there. But that's not to kill it if you want to check that out. It's a really useful tweak. It is paid, but you can always add certain repos to get for free. Alright, so that's not to kill it if you want to check that out. Right, turning up next to number three is a really useful tweak I use a lot. It's called Side Elite. Now, this always works for mainly only apps. I don't think it works with tweaks a lot. So what this will uh, let you do if I go and hold on Dream Boy for a quick second. As you do see, just like you would for installing an application or deleting an application it has a little x and that x if you want to click on that just go back and do over right here just go and click on that x it shows this that's a box i don't think you guys can see well now it says this delete movie box delete movie box will remove um will uninstall repo double by repo dot new movie box and all of its dependencies but mistake i deleted valency so you should be careful uh and sometimes it'll be on the Left side where comments here, that's where it will say um, delete. Here it will say cancel. So that's that's leave. We want to check that out. Coming up next is Apex 2. And this is our number two on the list, which is really fun to check out. If I want to swipe up on settings, I have these four pluses. Go and click on the one plus. It shows all my apps. I'm going to click on something I don't really use. Like, let's say, for example, Safari. Let's find Safari here. Now it's even my dock. So I'm swipe up. It's there. Hold on it. It will not do like the normal action it normally would. Go and click on plus again. You can uncheck it or you can change it. That's all it does. So that's that. And I really like it. The reason why I named it number two is because, well, obviously, it makes you way more organized. But kind of gets a little confused, too. So much I need to customize there, too. So I'm going a little fast because I'm on a time scale here for at like least 15 minutes. But, yeah. All right. Coming at number one. And this is um two tweets. They're totally different. But I named them and one because... Yeah, so first one in number one list is Lintune. So what this will, um, will let you do is get free music. So very, so all the music I was just playing in, um, earlier, I didn't, I didn't actually pay for it. I actually just used Lintunes. So if you want to open up iTunes, it is in an application. So if you lose iTunes or you have a jailbroken tweet that you can hide um, applications, then I'm sorry, you're lost. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a song. Um, I don't know what good song there is. Like, I don't know. 
Uh, there's all lots of songs. Uh, let's go ahead and say. Anaconda by Nicki Minaj. Just going to click that for example. Just going to say search. Alright, so this is the first one. Alright, now this is the deluxe version. So, so many links you can. I'm going to demo. It will say this gathering information. Ads. Still let you get your heads up. And I'll close this. So, guys, just, this is a really laggy iPad for some reason. And then you go into. Downloads, then it shows what's downloading, just like it would when you actually buy a song. Then it'll show about music. So that's um, Link Tunes, which is the first one. The second one for number one is really sweet. It's called Local AP Store. Obviously, as it says in the name, Local App Store, right? And that means you get free app purchases. It's really fun. It's really no things. All you gotta do is just enable it. So we're going to look at the AP store, enable, and then generate custom receipt. That's all you have to do, guys. It's that simple. And then you just go do a purchase. And then when it shows up, saying cancel. Or, okay, when you have to put in your um, password, please say cancel. Because I, I don't want you guys buying it. I mean, really, if you just want to use a tweak, don't actually buy it. So you can just use the AP store and get it for free. Simple as buy. That's it. And then... Um, yeah, so, yeah, and then it says, do you want to buy blah, 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 for blah, 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 dollars, it wants to cancel again, because then it'll, like, if you keep on tapping, like, millions of times until it shows up, you'll probably get many times of saying, sign in to sign in to sign in to sign in to sign in, it's going to be really annoying, I'm telling you that right now. So, these are my top 10, sorry, just tell me about the story, so you guys can check that out, it's a really fun tweak, it is for free, same as LinkedIn's, really useful tweak, and you must have a repo, which all links will be in the description below with the repo for that. Um, I will say if it's Big Boss or Mon My Eye, I will just sit um, a little dash and say blah 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 is blah blah blah. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Please give a like up down below. Uh, click here to see my top 35 city tweaks. Um, click over here to see Dream Board. If how to give Dream Board files, each is really cool. And then click over here for my top five. As I made this one, let me just redo all that. Sorry about that. Uh, click up here to see my top 35 Cydia tweaks. Click up here to see how to get Dream Board for I was huge, as I just said. Really cool. Click up here to see my top 5 Cydia tweaks. Click down here to see um, my channel. And then click here to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching this. Peace out.